Hi, this is Dong Shen from Pennsylvania State University. In this video, we introduce our paper, Local Community Detection in Multiple Networks. This is joint work with Yao Wei, Xiao Xiang from Pennsylvania State University, Yu Chen from Baidu Research, and Jun from Styling AI. Networks, also called graphs, are prevalent in real-life applications for modeling struct data with each node representing an entity, and each describe a certain type of relations between pairs of entities. A large volume of network data has been generated, such as social networks, document citation networks, medical networks, brain networks, and highway networks. The rapid growth of information in emerging applications has generated many interdependent networks, known as multiple networks. The first figure shows an example of three social networks, where each node represents an employee of a university. The three networks describe three types of relationships between these employees, whether they are co-workers, whether they have lunch together, and whether they are friends on Facebook. As another example from neurobiology, brain networks are usually built from fMRI data. In a brain network, each node indicates a region and an age represents functional connectivity between two regions. In the third example, the academic multiple networks consist of a collaboration network of researchers and a citation network of papers. Between the two networks, an age, denoted by a dotted line, indicates the authorship between a researcher and a paper. In most cases, a single network is obtained from a single source. Due to the technical limitations, privacy and security reasons, single network analysis methods suffer from that noise and that incompleteness problem. On the other hand, multiple networks are obtained from multiple sources and with multiple formats. These related networks provide complementary information to reduce the noise and enhance the robustness and accuracy performance of network analysis. As a fundamental task in large network Analysis, local community detection aims to find a set of nodes with dense connections that contains the given query. In this paper, we study this problem in a multiple network setting, where we aim to find a local community for each network. For example, given an author working on data mining, we would like to find the researchers in the data mining field as well as publications in data mining conferences. Random work best method are routinely used for this task. These methods first apply a random work model to calculate proximity score associated with the given query. Then, top ranked nodes form the detected local community. There are several challenges associated with local community detection in multiple networks. First, Multiple entities and relations make the multiple networks much more complicated than the single homogeneous network. There are two main kinds of multiple networks, multiplex networks and multi-domain networks. In the first case, networks are with the same node set but different relationships, such as the multiple social networks. Multi-domain networks are more general where different types of nodes and relationships exist. Besides, cross-network edges are with various types, including simple one-to-one, one-to-many, and complicated many-to-many -many mappings. Last but not least, real-life datasets may contain millions of nodes. Consider the efficiency. Designed methods should only explore local area to detect communities. To address this challenge, 
we introduce a novel random walk model in multiple networks. We use multiple random walkers from the query, one for each network. The query relevant subnetwork relations are evaluated from proximity scores. Then, these workers reinforce each other in the following steps according to these relations. They update visiting probability vectors by aggregating other workers' influences at each step. Specifically, we send out a random worker in each network to explore the network topology based on corresponding transition probabilities. For networks containing the query node, the probability vectors of workers are initiated with the query node. For other networks, probability vectors are initiated by transiting visiting probability by cross-connections among networks. Then, probability vectors of workers are updated step by step. Each worker is associated with a visiting probability vector where, which describes the worker's visiting history. Thus, we can measure the query-related relevance between networks by comparing their corresponding vectors. Take the multiple social networks as an example. The co-worker networks and the large together network are relevant because both are offline relations. While well, the Facebook friends network and the large gather network are less relevant because one is online and the other one is offline relation. The relevant scores are computed by cosine similarity and transited with cross connections. Intuitively, if two workers share similar or relevant visiting histories, it indicates that the visited local topologies in the corresponding networks are relevant. And these two workers should reinforce each other with highly weighted influences. On the other hand, if visited local topologies of two workers are less relevant, smaller weights should be assigned. We update each worker's visiting probability vector by aggregating other workers' influences at each step. Here is an example to intuitively demonstrate a worker's behavior in the proposed model. If G1 and G2 are highly re relevant, then the worker in G1 has two options to select the next node to visit. First, he can go along an edge inside G1, or he can also first visit a node in G2 by cross-network edge and then go back to G1. Due to the reinforced mechanism, transition metrics for each worker is time-dependently updated. We have theoretically shown that the transition matrix for each worker converts. To achieve efficient local exploration, we propose two speeding up strategies, early stopping and partially updating. First, we observe that transition matrix and visiting probability vectors are jointly updated in our method. While with the decay factor, transition matrix converts faster than the vectors do. Based on this observation, we propose the early stopping strategy. We split the random work process into two phases. Before a time point t, we update transition matrix and probability vectors simultaneously. After t, we keep transition matrix static and only update vectors. We theoretically analyze the error bounds of including early stopping to transition matrix. We further observe that scores in the visiting probability vector are not distributed evenly. A small number of nodes cover most proximity scores. Thus, we propose our second acceleration strategy partially updating. We split the visiting probability vector into two parts 
with the first part covers most precipitate scores. Then, we approximately update the vector by only considering nodes in the first part. We empirically evaluated our method in six real-life datasets from different domains. The RM and BrainNet are two multiplex network datasets, and the other four are general multi-domain network datasets. We compare our method to both single network LCD methods and multiple network LCD methods. The results show that our method outperform other baselines by large margins. To have an insight of our method, we further evaluate the quality of ranking. Intuitively, high quality ranking leads to precise local communities. We compare our method with other random work based methods, including RWR, MRWR, and MWC. Our method is denoted by blue lines. From these figures, we can see that our method can gen generate better ranking results, which explains the significant improvements of our method in local community detection over other best lines. To show the efficiency of the proposed method, we use controllable synthetic datasets. In power iteration, we do not apply any speeding up strategies. A1 adopts early stopping and A2 further adopts partial updating. We can see that the early stopping in A1 saves time about two times for the iteration method. The partial updating in A2 further speed up by about 20 times. Furthermore, we can observe that the running time of A2 grows slower than power iteration. Thus, the efficiency gain tends to be larger with larger datasets. We further check the number of visited nodes which have positive visiting probability scores in our method. In different sized networks, we see that in the end, only a very small proportion of nodes are visited. This demonstrates the locality of our method. Then, we show a case study with the Brain Network dataset. Detecting and monitoring functional systems in human brain is an important task in neuroscience. However, in many cases, the brain network generated from a single subject can be noisy and incomplete. Using brain networks from other subjects help to identify functional systems more accurately. We have shown the ground truth local communities as well as detect the local communities of different methods in this figure. We can see that the detected community by our method is similar to the ground truth one. On the other hand, single network methods tend to detect smaller communities due to the incompleteness. MRWR is another multi-network local community detection methods. It includes many false positive nodes because it does not consider the local relevance between networks. We conduct another case study on the DBLP dataset. We use Dr. Kotra as a quarry. The dataset is collected in 2014. At that time, she was a PhD student in CMU. It shows that our method can detect the local communities from both networks with high qualities. Specifically, the detected authors are mainly from her advisors group. The detected paper communities are mainly published in database and that many conferences. For more information, please check our paper. Thank you.